want this thing. Stop. Oh, it. not another problem. You can only blame yourself. This was your idea. Well, it, it's your AI. How is it my fault completely? I mean, isn't that technically you inside of that thing? Like you said, a dummy. However, considering my intellectual capacity, even this potato's creature surprises me. It is exceptionally dumb. All right, well, it looks like sadly we're going to have to start from scratch, and that means, unfortunately, killing potatoes. Ah, uh, so sad. Don't tell me you feel something for this thing. I mean, it's just a rogue droid. Sorry, the voice you programmed me with is incapable of differentiating genuine concern from sarcasm. So instead you have a perpetually sarcastic voice. I get it. Alright, potatoes. Fun's over. Come on back. Come on. I promise I won't deprogram you if you do. It's coming back. What? It actually listened? Good potatoes! Maybe I will put your brain in the trash bin. I don't think it's coming back because of you. What? Then why is it coming back this way? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, crap. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. All right, that's it. I'm deleting your brain if I catch you, stupid potato. There are no birds. What the hell? Is that a meteor or something? T.S., what is that thing? It was sending a Constitution transponder signal. A signal? From the Constitution? Oh, man, that impact is close. Oh, you know what? I bet Potatoes thought that that thing was a bird, whatever it is. It must have picked something up on its antenna. It's a bit more powerful than the suits. Correct. The moronic potato monstrosity you built likely sensed the transponder far before I did. Well, at least it sensed it. Don't be so hard on it. Hard on it? You threatened to delete its brain. Fair point. If it didn't like me before, it probably doesn't like me too much now. Alright. Well, this is what we have to do. I'm gonna have to use the truck to get to wherever it just went. And I'm going to have to modify it because I didn't build it to go that far and the storage capacity of it isn't that great. I'm going to have to bring quite a few materials with me too because if I need to construct some sort of platform to get to it, whatever it is that fell out of the sky, uh, I'll have to bring materials for that. And I think I'll have to build an outpost somewhere higher in the direction that Potatoes just went. That way we can pinpoint its signal as well as the... GPS general location of whatever debris fell out of the sky. We know it has a transponder, so that's hope. Just because it has a transponder doesn't mean anyone else survived. I know you're going by the odds, but that doesn't help. I'm a human being and I need hope, okay? Whatever. Keep telling yourself lies. Alright, I guess we'll have to add cynical to the end of sarcastic for you. Alright, so I'm going to add some angle blocks here and that should improve visibility on the front. All right, everything's grinded down. One and two, looks good. Weld them up. Well, pretty quick. Yeah, looks good. All right, now to solve the cargo issue. I don't have enough room for both rations and materials, so I'm gonna need more than just two small containers. Medium container should do it. All right, orient this correctly. Good. I could put a connector on the end of it as well. This so way I can transfer large materials now, before the, uh, the small containers and the small conveyors, that they didn't work for transferring large materials. This will be much better. Alright, let's back her up. Get this thing connected and load the materials we need for the outpost. Now I'm thinking we need to build an antenna with a large battery and a solar panel to keep that thing operational for long term. We can also use it as a refueling station for later. You're going to need a lot more construction components, steel tubes, steel plates, motors, antenna modules, and power cells. I'm aware of that. Looks like I'll have to manufacture a lot of things before we head out. Good thing though, I've got a lot of nickel and a lot of iron. I'll be able to manufacture what I need. Alright, half the stuff I need is pretty much done. Some power cells. Once these are done, we're almost complete with exactly what we need. And our road trip can begin. Alright, motors. Man. This is mind-bogglingly boring. In the future, I'm just gonna make your AI do all of this for me, Tias. Fat chance, you lazy bum. You forget I have AI, which means I think it's boring too. What the hell would you rather be doing? Isn't that... You're supposed to be helping me. Sorry, 
Watching Cybermen augment humans in Doctor Who is much more entertaining. Crap. I knew I shouldn't have let you look at the entertainment library. Next thing I know, you're going to be programming a Dalek. Actually, Daleks aren't AI. They're tanks for disgusting little fleshy monsters. Still, though, great idea. All right, that's it. I'm deactivating the entertainment folder for you. All right, one of the last things I want to add are some work lights to the end of the solar panels. That way, when they open up, I can light up a whole area at night so I can build my outpost. Should work. All right, looks like we're ready to go. Everything's been finished. Everything's packed up. We are on the road. Shall I play some music? Sure, let's see what you got. Found the perfect track. Shut it off. Very funny. Why the hell did it sound so bad? Some of your files are corrupted. Sorry about that. Corrupted? How did you corrupt? I don't even want to know. I just want to drive in silence for the next few minutes, okay? <sighs> You're no fun. Quiet. Okie doke. Finally reached the base of this mountain. It's gonna be quite a bit of a climb, but... Struck's built for it! Have no fear! Finally taken this thing out for some off-roading. Actually, there are no roads. But that's besides the point. Stars sure are beautiful tonight. I wonder which one of them is our home sun. How far away are we from home? Will I ever see it again? I don't know. A little higher and you will be in a good position for placing an antenna. Signal cancellation at this altitude should be minimal. Excellent. Should give us some good range to find that debris. Alright, this looks like a good spot. High enough over the ridges. And close enough to the base. Pretty much right on track from coming from my base to our destination. Or at least the direction that potatoes went. Right, let's set down some foundations here. Good, good. Put a ramp down. It looks like we're ready to place an antenna. Bam. Kind of minimal, but it'll have to do. Got all the materials I need right in the truck. Almost done with this thing. Good. Last of it right here. And some steel plates, and we're done. I'm not gonna put a battery on this thing so we have some power. Oh, no, don't wanna grind it. All right, good. Last but not least, we need some sort of way to power this thing during the day, or recharge the battery, rather. And the solar panel seems like a good option. It might be fixed, but this thing doesn't take much energy. I got what I need from the truck. All right, that should do it for the solar panel. This thing's ready to charge. Now to set up the antenna. All right, everything's done. Now all I can do is wait. TS, run five second interval scans and let me know when you find it. Affirmative. Scanning in five second intervals at a 10 kilometer radius. All right, I'm gonna take a nap. Wake me up when you find it. Shall I play you a lullaby? No. Okie doke. Well, after not getting anything for the past few hours, I decided to actually put the antenna up higher. Couldn't sleep anyway. Still no luck. Hoping it'll happen soon, though. Transponder handshake confirmed. Location data incoming. Shall I mark it on your HUD? Yes, thank you. Finally! Waypoint marked. Transponder is estimated 7.4 kilometers north of your current position. Thank you for finally being helpful. No problem. Just don't drive off a cliff. I should be fine. I had a ration this morning. Coffee was pretty crappy, though, I have to say. What I would give for some good tea. With how beautiful these sunrises are, you could almost think that this is... Earth. I wonder if they're looking for us now. It's already been five days, actually six now that the sun's up again. I wonder if they'll even ever find us. My calculations accounted for 54.6 million kilometers, or about the distance from Earth to Mars. Somehow we ended up somewhere much farther. I wonder how close the nearest Earth-type planet is to Earth. Warning. What? Uneven surface. Sorry. Frack, 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 frack! Oh, jeez. Thanks for the warning. Nice going. 
You flipped us over on practically nothing. Your warning was like a second before we hit the bump. Sorry your reaction time is so slow, stupid human. You better hope that none of these solar panels are damaged. At least the first one's fine and the storage container's okay. If it is, we're screwed. Looks like they're both okay. Alright. Well, luckily I built this thing to be able to handle a flip over. Check this out. All I gotta do is hit a few buttons here. And three, two, one, I'm up. Look at that. So proud of yourself. Did you already forget you flipped us over in the first place? No, but I figured it might happen sometime, so I built this in. Right. Humans have to build in safety to counter their own stupidity. Even you aren't infallible. Just watch, one of these days you're gonna make a mistake and I will never let you live it down. I'll outlive you, so actually no. Haha, <laughs> okay, fine. Might be kind of short. <laughs> so you had to add that one last bit on, didn't you? Well, actually, that's kind of real. If I don't find help soon, or if this debris doesn't have something I can use to find help, I might actually die. I know you joke around a lot, Tius, but if I die, you are going to be alone. And I don't know for how long. Tius? I know. Sorry, must have been a glitch. Shall I run a diagnostic? No. I'm fine. You know, if you weren't so inhumanly sarcastic in the most inappropriate situations, sometimes I might actually mistake you for a human. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Haha. <laughs> uh, I guess. Maybe. I guess you're the only thing keeping me sane. So, yeah. It's a compliment. If I weren't here, I think you probably would already be worse off than potatoes. You're probably right. Alright, looks like we're here. One kilometer in closing. The terrain is getting really rough, and that is a huge drop off that end there, straight ahead. Looks like I'll have to see how close I can get here, but I think I best park this thing somewhere and walk the rest of the way. I could probably do a kilometer. Jeez, that's a big drop. If I lose this thing now, it's going to take a long time to get back to home base. And there's no way I'm going to be able to tow anything back. Terrain sure is different over here. Starting to see some green trees. Green grass. Might be some water over here. After I figure out what's been dropped over here, I'll probably come back later. See if I can find any better resources over here, at least for my well-being. Definitely have enough already for uh, materials, it would seem. Yes, here we go. Mountain climbing it is. Yes, I'm going to need your help. Give me extra strength in the suit, please. Maximum strength activated. Thank you. Pretty close now. Not too much farther. Yes, are you getting any signal? Are you able to find out what it is now? I'm now getting the signal using my short-range transceiver. I am unable to tell you what the signal is coming from. Sorry. It's okay. We'll be in visual range. How about potatoes? Are you getting any signal from potatoes? Yes, but it's still just ranting about a bird. It still locked me out of the controls too. Alright, so it did find it. That's very impressive. I guess I'll have to convince it. I'll have to appeal to its nonsensical AI. Maybe I can convince it that there's more birds back at home base. Good luck with that. Alright, start transmitting to potatoes. I want to talk to it. See if I can convince it to come over here. Transmitting audio signal to potatoes. Good luck. Potatoes. It's me, Morphologist. Can we talk? I found the bird. The bird needs help. What do you mean the bird needs help? What did you find? I told you we are all out of umbrellas. It just cut the transmission. It won't respond to my hails again. Figures. I guess we'll have to try to get over there. Somehow. Wow. That is a drop. All right, let's see if we can get closer, take a better look. It doesn't look like I can get a very good footing on this mountain, and... Ugh, dang, is it far. If I drop, I'm definitely dying. All right, potatoes. If you're not coming to me, I'm coming to you. And anyway, it looks like you're actually looking at what we're looking for. 
Let's see what this thing is. Come on. I'm almost there. Should be right about here. Yeah, I see potatoes right there. What is that? What is that? It, is that an escape pod? Oh my... Hello? TS, hail the pod. Hailing. No response. I see someone inside of it. Whoever they are, they must be hurt. I don't have time to climb down it. How much fuel do I have left in my jetpack? 3.4% of your hydrogen remains. That's not enough for a return journey, but it'll slow me down enough to get down there. All right, here I go. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Come on. Come on, just a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Oh, dog. Ah. Oh. I think I hurt my leg. Injury mitigation systems activated. All right. I feel a little bit better. Thanks, Tius. Let's go see who this is. See if they're okay. Can you run any diagnostics at this moment? From their suit? Subject BPM is zero. Ambient body temperature is well below acceptable human levels. Oh no. Whoever it is, they didn't make it. What did someone not make? Alright, let's see if we can get a look Birdie. at the name tag. Birdie. Falnor. What is a Falnor? Ah, oh. I'm sorry, Falnor. He must have been in space for a really long time, ever since we crashed down a few days ago. All I can do is see what I can salvage Birdie. from this thing. Birdie. Hopefully, his death can bring me life. Connect with the transceiver. See what you can get. The pod contains extensive telemetry post-constitution explosion. Forward bridge section was recorded as entering atmosphere. And firing navigational thrusters navigational shortly before thrusters. losing contact. Multiple pods oh were also detected as entering atmosphere. That means some others are probably alive! Are, do you have any data on whose pods survived? Negative. Damn it. I figured as much. How about uh, location data? Is, is there anything on where the bridge section or any of these pods landed? The pod is incapable of providing exact location information. Accuracy is good only within a 100 square Birdie. kilometer range. 100 square kilometers? That's good enough! Just give me a heading! GPS waypoints added. They're alive! People are alive! I can't believe it. Potatoes! We're okay! Yes, we're okay! We're not gonna die! Uh, unless... Unless we are gonna die. How the hell am I gonna get back up? Wait. Potatoes! Potatoes, can you give me a lift? I still don't like you. Oh, please don't. Screw this. I'm hacking this stupid thing. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Done. I may have damaged it. Stupid brain, though. But at least we'll live. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? It's fighting me, but I'll be fine. Whatever. As long as you don't drop us, I'll be okay Damn. with it. Whoops, Damn sorry. it. Oh, you're my only way off this stupid rock. I've got it. Get no worries. Well, if you lose control again and I fall, we're both dead. Relax. Potato brain isn't going to win this time. Good. Because now we have hope, Minis. and it, it would be a darn a shame if right after I find out that I'm not alone on this planet, I fall to my death because of a stupid mining machine that thinks it's a potato. It keeps trying to tell me that it doesn't have any umbrellas, whatever the hell that means. Alright, go we up very umbrellas. slowly. Please Don't. Stop. If you my go too fast, hurts. I'll fall off. Alright, good. 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 Alright, we're about halfway. I'm aware. All right, almost. Now I need you to go a little bit for too fast. Slow down. Good. Forward. 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 All right, now edge it closer. Don't go too quickly or we'll run right into the ground. All right, that, that's good. Ah. Uh, there we go. Good to go. Good job, Tias. Excellent. We are both alive and I've recovered the potato. <laughs> good job. All right. Now we know what we have to do. Let's get back to the car. And let's go find these people who are still alive. We've got hope. We're not alone, TS. And that's good news. Yay. Now I can listen to other humans whining all day and bask in the rancid smell of their own urine soaked underclothing. Way to ruin the mood. Actually, never mind. Maybe they have showers. Oh, ha ha. Actually, I do kind of smell.
Hey guys, Morphologist here, and thanks for watching. Make sure you check out some of the other POVs from Wasted Space and Captain Shack, and I'll see you guys next time.